Hey guys, so uh, back with another video. Um, my last video I did uh, on Android stuff was the uh, Kind Master, one of the best video editors I've seen and used so far. Um, it's great. You can do everything on your on your tablet or do everything on your uh, phone, which I did on my Note 3. So I just wanted to show what I feel is the best uh, picture editor. Um, I already asked my two friends if I can use their pictures for uh, for the you know for the video, and they said yes. This is one of them. Uh, as you can see here. The lighting isn't so great. Um, the camera sensor reads the back light and says, "Yeah, that's enough light." And essentially, what happens is the uh, you become a silhouette because the camera says there's tons of light. We don't need a flash, and that's why I, I always tell everybody consider the light source. If the light source is um, parallel to you or behind you. Uh, you need to turn your flash on and use the force flash not auto flash because if it's on auto flash once again this the light sensor will read all this light behind you that could be the Sun that can be an, a, a window or any or a light bulb like this light bulb was behind her um, same thing it'll say there's tons of light we don't need the flash so you need to force turn the force shot the, the flash on manually and then it will fire so what would happen is you become you won't become a silhouette but we're gonna tweak that picture and also this one this one the flash is on you can see it because if you look at her eyes you can see the flash in her eyes uh, but everything looks washed out so we need to change the color saturation add some contrast maybe turn the brightness down a little bit um, and we'll take it from there so I'm gonna go back and fire up uh, Pixie. Okay, so you can either fire it up that way. For some reason, it's not doing it. So I'm gonna fire it up this way. We'll click that and we'll share through Pixie and click it again. Okay, so now down here you have adjust effects uh, sticker and export. Uh, what I also do sometimes is when I do a screenshot on Android, for some reason, it saves everything as a PNG file. Uh, sometimes I'll tag it with this program and right away I'll click export and it puts it in my camera gallery and but saves it uh, changes the format from uh, a PNG to a JPEG which is uh, a lot easier for other devices to you to uh, view so anyway let's get into this so first thing I want to do is adjust let's uh, let's adjust the exposure and see how that goes so I'm gonna to try to light up the front side of her. Now, in doing so, yeah, the background becomes a little bit more washed out. It's not exactly the best thing to to see, but I mean, it is what it is. At least now you can start seeing her face compared to this, right? This is where it was at before. So to me, what's important is to bring her face out We'll bring it to there. I'll click OK. It saves that what we just did. Hit the contrast. So this looks washed out. She's wearing all black. So we want to make the blacks look black. Adding contrast will do so. It also adds definition to the picture. All right. So once again, there it's faded out. That's too much. So it's it's kind of like personal preference to where you where you want it to be. Because you want to be able to see some definition instead of just a one big black blob uh, in the front. And the same token, you don't want to turn it up too high where you, you can't see anything, right? And you don't want you want it to look too faded. So, to me, right about right about there is okay. Next, I want to hit saturation. This is the color saturation. Your whole palette, you get you can turn tweak up like that. You can tweak down. Um, basically, I look at the face or the hands, and just try, try to get natural skin tones or, or what looks, you know, kind of normal to me. Um, or you can look at the, you know, like the wood grain. You don't want it to look too oversaturated, and it'll start looking weird. I'm gonna leave it there for a little bit because you can also change the color temperature on this. 
uh, tint. Actually, let's go back. Let's go back to the color temperature. Right. So warmer, cooler. Cooler is gonna go towards more blue, bluish tinge, and the uh, warmer is gonna be, you know, more in the yellowish tinge. So to me, right about there is okay. Maybe down a little bit. And right what there? I could have probably just left that alone. It also gives you the levels on, on top. I'll show you the next one. So brightness. You'll see up top. See? Plus 10, plus 13, minus. So once again, you can bring it up. I, I'm just going to bring it up a little bit so everything doesn't look too faded. Um, now if you want, you can also sharpen the picture. But to me, I'm not going to do that because it... You know, you can already see this look. It looks pixelated. It's just going to enhance that. Um, so we go smooth. It'll look a little bit better. If you go like this, that looks too much. That's with nothing in it. Looks starting to get a little bit pixelated. If you put some, uh, if you zoom in, so I'm just going to put just a little bit because we're not going to be zoomed in that much anyway. Okay like that so that's starting to look a little bit better other than that I'm not gonna crop I'm just gonna leave it so and then you can let's see what we have for effects um, pop colors is pretty cool too it's not really something I'd want to do with this but say she was wearing a bright red Red, bright red, uh, something really colorful. You can black everything out, and what you can do is start do going like this. You know, that's why they call it pop color. So you can zoom in, right? And you can adjust um, how big of a brush you want to use if you want to go smaller because we're getting into more detailed stuff like that you know get more detailed with it so on and so forth right anyway that's what pop color is and also you can change the color if you want the opacity like that so we're gonna go back because that's not what I wanted to do there exit out and as you can see here there's all kinds of different um, and it shows you like real time what it would be all kinds of stuff you could do vertical stretch stretch mirror here you can change colors that go right to black and white Let's see click that X out so for now I think I'm gonna leave it there is one that I do use once in a while soft glow see see the effects it just uh, takes the harshness away from harshness away from it also changes the color uh, the contrast a little bit too so to me that looks a little bit better so that's gonna be my final product um, so from right from here I'm gonna export save to album yes right so now what I'm going to do is go back to my gallery. So there's the original. Right? And it's I have it so it saves it here. So I'm going to move that to where the original is. Move. Now we're going to go there. Okay. So here's the original. And there, there's a little bit more color. I might have added a little bit too much contrast there, so you can re-edit it and, you know, take some more color out. But definitely, there's more definition, doesn't look so washed out, and there's more definition to the face. Right? That, compared to that. This just looks a little bit more natural. Except for the, uh, I might want to take out some more saturation or something. Alright, so let's move on to the next picture. This one. So click Pixay, 
No. This one. I'm gonna go straight to brightness. Bring it down just a little bit. Because you'll notice too, the T zone, what they call up here, it's gonna be uh, when it comes to the flash there, the nose, the chin, cheeks. Um, they're gonna reflect more light. So they might look washed out a little bit. Kind of like that, see? Bam, 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 and bam. So I'm gonna turn that down a little bit like that so it's not, not so harsh. Now let's go to contrast. That's some definition. See how it brings out her eyes? You can actually tell that they're blue now, right? So just enough contrast, if you put too much, it's gonna change to her her face too, right? So, to me, right about there is good. Um, saturation. So it's kind of washed out. So we want to bring it bring it up more. So now it's it's t around the background. Her hair. You want her hair to look natural. So what I'm doing is looking at her face, adding a little bit of red because that's what's natural. Here it's it's losing color. Here that's too much going into the blue blues blue colors so for now we'll go over there for saturation the tints it's a little bit more a little too much blue if I go here it's gonna hit more green right so we'll go, we'll go there for now no saturation temperature that goes to the blues, this goes to the reds. So that's looking, see, a lot more natural to me. Her hair actually starts to look more blondish, I guess you would say. Eyes are nice, right? Skin tone, better. Face, a little bit washed up, but that's because the flash is so harsh and it's so close to her face. This is a selfie, obviously you can see her hands standing, sticking out, so her hands would be out right around here taking that picture. So, we'll click OK. Um, what else can we do? I'm going to sharpen it a little bit. Okay, that's too much. I don't want to start degrading the picture. That's what it is without sharpening. That's what it is with sharpening. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Okay, so we'll go there, right? Um, that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's go. So this is nice too. Because it's like that, you can also add... Um, I don't want to add a blur to it. You can actually click boost too. See what it, it wants to do. You might like that effect. But see, it starts to get, starts to degrade. Getting The face is getting blotchy. I don't like that, so I'm, I'm going to go back, X it out. Um, there's also what you can add, which I like. Click X there. Click defects. I like using sometimes a vignette. right here so what that does is around the corners that's what you call vignetting usually that's done by the lens sometimes you get that from a, a lens hood if you're not using the proper one um, I like doing that it just emphasizes the, uh, the the subject basically so go to effects again that was vignetting and another thing I like to add sometimes is A focal blur so this is like having uh, with your lens like an f-stop of 1.5 1.2 1.8 so basically as you know when you take a picture pictures you only it, it only focuses on one focal plane so if I take a picture from here it's gonna take it's gonna focus here and everything else behind it will be start to get out of focus so with your f-stop you can create that obviously because this is a phone camera camera phone uh, you can create that by doing this see here it's in focus out there is blurry so this this is what makes it nice with uh, with portraits like this and you can go like that too see you could just do one eyeball the rest is blurry 
make it bigger but since it's a portrait unless you wanted this part and there's stuff here you, you want to focus so just for fun we'll do that and you can also adjust how much blur that you want so we'll go like that all right so I think I'm gonna adjust the the brightness a little bit because to me it's a little bit too much it's a little bit too harsh still on the on our face so that looks to me better than the original so I'm gonna export like that all right go back there's the original here's the exported so we're gonna highlight that and move it to where the original is move and then we'll go to that folder so there's the original and there's the touched up one which is more better much better contrast saturation clarity compared to that right much better I hope this translates uh, in the video because uh, on the phone it looks a lot better and here's the original with this picture light sources behind them and we bring them out actually see we can go pixay we can go temperature bring it down uh, bring that down a little bit and bring the saturation down a little bit but still it's a lot better than before because there uh, I say I'm looking at the hand the hand looks a little bit more saturated but to me the face is what's important because that's mainly what you're looking at so I'll just leave it like that so this like I said this is called Pixie. you can have different effects bulge pinch circle splash just mess around with it there's all kinds of stuff and what I like about this app too is it's very fast in processing save to album done right go back <clears throat> and there it is right so it's much better if you crop it like this it's actually not it's not so bad compared to the original original pick which was this that actually is not bad also I mean if you want that vintage look that's what it has it has like that faded look to me anyway but uh, anyway so that program is called Pixay Pro or you can you know you can get it for free if you want the paid version you can get the pro version right all right happy editing hope you like the video